What is going on guys and welcome back for another video on Obsidian Gaming and we're, today we're playing another episode of House Flipper. Let me know in the comments guys what do you think of House Flipper so far? What do you prefer? Do you prefer doing the jobs or do you prefer buying and selling houses? Pretty much doing a straight house flip. Let me know in the comments. Um, and we're looking, I want a tricky house to do today. I think we're going to turn one over. It's between a garage or a bunker. Our house in a thicket. Now that looks more destroyed. So I might actually go for this one because it might be a bit more challenging than, than this one. But then this could be a nice quick turnover. Ooh, what should we do? One oh should we see if we can do both. See if we've got enough time to do both, because this looks like a quick turnaround. Let's go for garage with a bunker. Alright, here we are. A garage or a bunker. It is literally I think. Literally just a carriage. Oh, we've got a car. That's a bonus. I mean, yeah, it's quite a bit of a bonus having a car. Always comes in handy. It is literally just a garage. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really expect too much from it. I will, won't lie to you. I mean, oh, there's the stairs. So what is down here? We've got... Dirty floors, dirty shelves, a lot of rubbish everywhere. And let's go into the bunker itself. Uh, could we do anything with this, do you think? I don't know. Oh, this is a mess. Very dirty. Very dirty indeed. Yes, yes, very dirty. Okay, what could be behind here? Okay, we've got a possible bathroom we could build here. I might just keep it them tiles maybe is there a light works yeah light work yeah good good very dark and dingy isn't it and we've got more rubbish more mm, just just rubbish everywhere isn't it really and I suppose we could do the garden we could do some stuff to the garden make it look very nice as well try and add to a little bit of the property value always comes in handy really it's got big size property Okay, I'm quite unsure of what to do with this area. I might extend the walls out a little bit, um, flatten this off. So this is going to be the kitchen area, I suppose. I could have it as a kitchen area. No, it's going to be a bathroom. So we can have an upstairs bathroom. Even though it is a garage, I might knock that down, sell the car. I'll throw it outside. How much could we sell the car for, actually? Oh! Car is sold! Let's try and make a little bit more, more, as much money as we can. And do, do, do. I don't know what that is. What's that? It's just a cabinet. I've got tools and that that we can sell. Might clean up the fridge, see if it actually does clean up. No, it doesn't clean up, so let's sell! Setty, it's horrible that setty, doesn't it? Get rid of the rug. The TV, we could probably use that, so I'm just gonna keep it to one side for now. Might as well recycle it if we can. Any bits we can, save money. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. Don't really need it. Keep the toilet. Yeah, I think here. We could try and make it into one bedroom and maybe like a living space, like a living room or something. So I'm trying to separate it. So let me sell all these items, I'll give it a good paint and then we'll probably look at doing walls and see if we can extend or make different rooms or such. We might be able to make a little bit out of this, make it into a like, house upstairs and a bunker downstairs. Hmm, maybe, maybe. Alright guys, that seems to be the last part of our painting up here. And it's cleaned up. I'm going to leave this brick. I quite like the effect and the look you know, with the brick, what it has there. What's the light like we've switched on? Okay, it's quite bright as well, that's good. So, with that in mind, what I'm going to do here is go try and make this space into a garage area, which would be this section. 
and then we're going to have the bathroom in here downstairs to the rest of the bunker which is, is very dirty as you can see on the and the little map on the top right it's dirty and over here we're going to build like another bedroom so we'll try and get a little bedroom section if we can we might try and do two if we do two small bedrooms or maybe a study in a bedroom Let's have a check. Right, okay, so if we build it, he's trying to build it so that light is in a good situation, still a good place. Let's build it quite narrow so we can get enough space where we need it. So is that okay there? I want to align with this. Okay, so that could be the first bit. If that goes right down, hmm, actually, I don't know, I don't know. Can we knock this section down? Nope, can't knock that down. Hmm. Alright, maybe if we build the wall here. So I'll go two sections here. And then we can build the top section just there. Now go online with the garage. We've still got a good sized garage space. I'm gonna leave that open plan when you walk through. I might be quiet, all right. And then here we've got two bedrooms. If we can, if it is possible, it'll have at least one bedroom and maybe a study that leads onto it. Our kitchen area. Oh, yes, actually, we could do a kitchen. Open plan kitchen onto the bedroom. Hmm. I wonder how that would look. Well, let's give it a try. And we'll come back in a minute or so. I'll just speed it up, build it up so it doesn't drag the video out too long and it makes it too boring for you guys to watch. Yeah, we really need to do something about this outside. It doesn't look great whatsoever. What is that actually? I don't want to look like a gravestone from over there. <laughs> oh my god, okay, it's not a gravestone. It is the bunker exit. Right, let's have a look inside. What have we done so far? So you come in, we've got a little bit of storage area still for the garage. It's a garage slash living room. There wasn't real much space we could do with it. Uh, much of an option really, because the layout. But I've decided to go for a bedroom upstairs as well as downstairs, you see. So let's. this might actually change. This still might actually go in here where the bedroom is, because it is just basic, basic, very basic bedroom. So I might up and plan this. And have it sectioned off as a living room, maybe. So you got the garage, and it'll be an open plan with the wall into the living room. It depends how many bedrooms they are downstairs. So we'll go have a check downstairs, see what we can do for that. We've got a big kitchen area, 22 meters square, so that's very good. And we've got a small little toilet around here as well, so there's another room we need to go through. We've got nine half hours on the left, so it's not too much. So hopefully, we should be able to get enough things done fingers crossed i still need to do all of this area don't we it is horrible down here is it actually really horrible Ugh, mess bunkers are always a mess aren't they why why are the bunkers are so much a mess oh well oh well let's get the brush out give it a clean and then we can go from here then and see what we can do for the nine thousand remaining budget for this house all right guys we're back so let's see what we've been busy doing. So we've cleared out this storage area. I'm gonna make this into a kitchen area. I think it might look quite nice just in the corner, a little corner kitchen. So if you're in there like a tornado or a zombie apocalypse, the alarm starts going off, you can get up from your bed, run straight down, lock that door, lock there. Oh actually there's not another door, is there? Ooh, maybe we should make another door. This is class right, okay, yes, it's classes the bunkers though, so that's good. So we can have a kitchen in there. Close the door, open there, we've got a storage area just here. This area is going to be the living room slash bedroom. And we've got the bathroom all kitted out and all done. And in this section we have got a another another side of storage. We've got two lots. Okay, so let's build the kitchen together. Why should we might as well go try and keep it cheap as I can because I've only got nine thousand left. So we're quite tight on our little budget red now. And we're going for a quick and basic 
unit really. So let's go for a corner unit. Just about there. Yeah, looks okay. I'm hoping this is still classed as the actual bunker for the kitchen. Okay, why is the guy on the left? He, why has he gone down? The buyer, the, the balaclavered one. Well, it's not balaclavered, it's a gas mask. Hmm. Zero hours. Those who are unprepared will be like zombies. They were killed to survive. I want to be ready for it. Former, former military tactical planner. He wants to protect his family at all costs, even if he needs to kill somebody. Okay. Psycho. We got a psycho among us, guys. Psycho. Hmm, okay, I know why that would go there, because we need to sell. So stick that into there. I'm, see, I'm trying to get the value out as much as I can. So I don't want it just be for, like, the preppers. We need to try and get as many people as we can to try and bid for it. More bits, more money. And that's what we need right now. We need a lot more money. Okay, so that's that. Mm. Okay, so the guys that say, you know, I'm not going to live here. Okay, seeing a bit prep. Seeing a bit, buddy. Okay, what we can do here is if we sell, sell that door. And we can make a radioactive door. Maybe. Oh, cool. I mean, we put a shotgun there for the guy. I mean, you come down, you got a shotgun there ready for you straight away. <laughs> so he's actually liking it, having a shotgun. He's like, yeah, yeah, I like this. This guy knows what he's doing. I don't. <laughs> I really don't. Hmm. Where is the other one? Like the radioactive door. Can we find it? Okay, that's not actually gone well. Let's see if we can find it through over. Hmm, where's the radioactive doors? Where's it? There you go. I can't move it. Drop. I'm just going to keep it a white one. It just goes better with the furnish than what the brown one did. But still, we've got a shotgun there. Comes down. That's what I want when these fallout shelters. There's got to be one somewhere. Got to be. Equipment. No, it's no equipment. Electrical stuff. Ah, okay. It's my first aid, first aid ever. I can't even get words out. First aid kit. <laughs> okay, here is going to be a basic of the basic bump beds. It really is. I'm going. I'm going to just put a basic bump bed down. There we go. That's the bump bed we need. In question. Uh, where can we put it? Oh, I can't stick it. It's not one bed, though, is it? We've got. We've got a bedroom upstairs. Okay, this guy wants a second bed. Two beds were just right. Okay, cool. So that is there. That is there. We need a sofa. Why don't we stick a sofa? Like a prepper's house. What I'm thinking is leaving it this colour, right? Just leaving it breeze box because it wouldn't stand out. But at the back here, I'm thinking we can have our own like allotment type thing. So we can like have some 
fruit and veg and everything growing on land so try and keep it all very nice so we've got food growing right above us so if you ever need anything you just nip out get it straight away above your head done dinner go out grab some apples done so what i need to do is give this area a good little lawnmower so let's get the lawnmower out because there's the exit so that's not too bad There, yep, 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 good. Here we go. All right, now we have a nice open area right by the bunker. I'm going to fence this bit off so nobody can come and get anything from behind. Oh, what is this? Right, we've got a apple tree. Let's stick that in there. It's quite a big tree. Dig a nice little hole for it and then we'll bury it. Stick it in. And we'll get a few more plants. Probably looking tomatoes, probably a pear tree, and a few other bits and bobs. Let's see what takes our fans say, eh? Right, okay, there we go. Nice little cherry tree. So we've got a couple of cherry trees, or plants, shall we say. We've got a pear tree, we've got an apple tree, we've got some of our lettuces over here, carrots, pumpkins, I forgot what it was, other than the top of my head. And also, we've got some raspberry bushes around there. That should do for now. And in the front, needs a bit of a, needs a bit of a go over, but we'll sort that out a little bit later on. Don't worry about that one, guys. We will. Okay, so here we are guys. We've got the main entrance coming in. A little bit of storage. You got the carriage space just in case you do need it. Also, it comes in handy for defences. As soon as that comes up, you got your shotgun. Run here, grab the shotgun, let's start. Run over here, into your kitchen, grab what you need. Run down into the basement, you got another shotgun just in case. Again, you got a secondary kitchen and you come through. And this is our living area. I know it's not much. I couldn't really do too much though, to be honest, with a bunker. You're quite limited for space, aren't we? Let's try and make it nice and appealing. 
And I don't know if upstairs actually does go towards any cost whatsoever for this due with it being a bunker house. I'm hoping so. I mean, you got two living rooms. What else do you need? <laughs> All right, guys, let's give this a flip to see how much money we can make for this house. Okay, Smith Garden Contest, because we've got some crops in there. Not a lot of crops. Okay, maybe we should have put some more things so we could get a better score than than 33. Okay, let's go for the auction. Will it sell as a profit? I'm hoping so. Oh, wait, we're making real profit. Okay, without any gun, we can't protect my family. But I made 38 and a half a thousand profit. Oh my God, I can't believe we made that much profit off this. That's a huge, huge profit. Let's see if we can do a negotiation. Let's increase it by 14. Let's go 14 one more. Wow. You don't ask, you don't get. 52,000 profit. That is huge. That is huge. Did not expect that. Really, really did not expect that. Wow. That is a huge amount of profit there. All right, guys. If you enjoyed that, let me know in the comments. What would you do different to try and make it? Probably make more money for ourselves. Could we make more money? We don't know. We don't know. Maybe next time we will. So take care of yourself, guys. Thanks very much for coming in on the video. I appreciate that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.